guys, it's October here and welcome to Witchcraft and I am your Thursday's host and there's pussy cats trying to get in the Christmas trees and being mischievous Oi you monkey! Oi! I knew this was happen as soon as I decided to start doing a video every time um, yeah, I thought I would share with you a little witchy thing that I'm doing, uh, which is doing um, Christmas hampers or Yule hampers for your witchy sisters and brothers um, that uh, connect in with their direct path and journeys and that you can very, very much individualise to suit them. As you can see here, this is actually the medium sized basket which can be bought from Wilco's in the UK but if you're outside the UK you can find things like this in a lot of different shops this particular one is £2.50 because it's a medium sized one but you can get a smaller one which I'll show you this is a smaller one, I believe this one's £1.50 now this one I would say is better for things like maybe if you were to do um, a hamper with incenses and smaller candles and things like that um, you know uh, you could pad it out uh, with quite a lot of things but it is obviously not as deep as the other one the other one's more suited if you have bigger things bigger candles and bigger items so I am going to give you an idea here that you could do for any of your witchy brothers or sisters and you can obviously adapt it to suit their path and their needs so I'm going to do this based on uh, the Morrigan so this is how I would for example if I was going to be doing a Morrigan gift basket for somebody using the colours that resonate with me obviously if I had a brother or sister I was giving a gift like this to that um, was a son or daughter of the Morrigan or a follower of the Morrigan I would obviously pick colours that resonated with their individual path and that connected with and resonated with them individually red, black and white is what resonates with me from Morrigan but other people have different colours that resonate with them so you would obviously pick what colours resonated with them so I'll give you a few ideas. So basically you start off and you get your your gift basket of size that you want and then then you're going to want to get this which is the um, hamper accessory pack. Now as you can see here um, this uh, shows you the gift basket as well. In this pack you don't get the gift basket you only get the cellophane wrap and the bow and I think a tag. Um, so obviously you'd want to buy this um, accessory pack to go along with your um, hampers that you've already you know purchased now I think this set is this is two pound as you can see here now if you look closely at this you can see that sort of shredded cardboard stuff that's also what you get um, now I'm not sure if this comes with it or you have to buy that individually but basically you can you can use that kind of shredded card stuff or you can get tissue paper to go with your design so obviously here you can see red tissue paper now this is from Wilco's um, I already have tissue paper that I had bought in the past which is black, red and white surprise surprise but if you don't have any tissue paper and you wanted to get tissue paper instead of the shredded card you could use uh, scrunched up tissue paper or layered tissue paper depends on what kind of look you're going for so that's one other thing you can do as a base now it depends on what kind of a look you're going for here um, but um, and again depends on um, the person but um, you could maybe get uh, some pillar candles or a pillar candle depending what the actual set is going to be used for if it's general practice use or if it's something that you know that person wants for a specific purpose for example um, working candle or something like that 
but you get these in various different colours. Um, so in this instance, I might want to go for white, or I might want to go for the red, or I might want to go for black, or a combination of some of them or all of them. Depends again what the um, gift hand part was going to be geared towards, um, you know, use wise. You could incorporate some pillar candle um, plates if the person doesn't have uh, plates for their candles. Um, they don't have to be, obviously these is just to show you, you can get the wrought iron ones that I use which are black or black, red or white um, glass ones. So it depends again what you're kind of going for. Uh, but these are very cost effective and um, obviously um, these are ones that you could incorporate as well if you wanted to. Another type of candle sort of setup you could go for. Again this might be something you might want to use in the smaller basket. You know if you don't have a lot of money and you really are wanting to go for a, just a couple of items in um, the... Um, gift package. Sorry I got distracted. My cat is trying to crawl underneath my Morgan altar unit. Strange kitty. Um, so you could go for something like this and maybe just uh, incorporate dinner candles. For example, um, in this case it would be red, black and white or all white or all red or all black. And now she's just come out on the other side. What was the point of that? Silly Billy. Yes, silly Billy. It would depend on obviously the person. Um, so, um, or you might want to have, uh, for example, again, depending on the person's path, and um, you might want to go for the encompassing um, maiden mother crone aspects. So you might want different coloured candles for those aspects. Or you might want um, to have like uh, god goddess representations. So um, basically it depends on the person as to what you may want to incorporate with the gift. The next thing you can incorporate into the gift bag, gift basket is an oil burner. In this case is one from Wilco and it's a plug-in one. But if you don't want a plug-in one you can get really cost effective ones in as the Walmart I'll show you so you can get the heart one for four pound in as the Walmart which might go with your heart uh, candle holders you can also get the plain white one which kind of looks like a blood droplet or a water droplet so that one is seven pound there's also a white owl one from as the Walmart which is six pound then you might want to incorporate some um, melts. So this is a pound from Wilco's, which is spice, apple and cinnamon. That should be very good for the season and, in this case, the morrigan. Then you may want to, for the non-electric burners, have your tea lights, um, either for the burner or just for general burning use, depends, again, on the person. You get red ones, white ones, and black ones. An idea as well is to get a storage jar which you can festify up or you can um, connect it again in with the person and their uh, path by incorporating items to decorate the jar with. And then you could maybe do a selection of red, white and uh, black or whatever colours resonate with them and just do a jar of mixed tea lights instead of giving a big pack of each. Again that would make it more cost effective and it would also suit that person's individual needs regards their path because they would have a mixture of all the colours in the one pot. Another idea is to incorporate um, organza bags. Now in this case um, if you were doing a, a ham part that was maybe the smaller basket and you wanted to do more one based around um, 
incense blends or anything like that um, then you could incorporate some of these into the bar into the basket to um, be used for that for example you could maybe have um, an incense blend within a little plastic slip and then popped in one of these so it doesn't leak everywhere or it could be used for putting um, the same thing soaps or um, uh, melts or something like that again putting it in a plastic little slip first and then popping them into the organza bags organza bags are always handy anyway so um, they could be used for putting things in or just to add as an additional little extra for that person to utilise how they would like you again might want to incorporate some taper candles or dinner candles these are 50p from Wilco's um, I think they do red white gold and silver regards the Christmassy section um, I don't buy my taper candles from Wilco's much I tend to buy them from Tiger because you get good deals in there and the candles in Tiger are solid coloured and they are solid quite good burners um, so you might want to uh, go to there if you're getting more than a couple of candles for example if you're just getting maybe two or three candles obviously um, well close might suit you but there is a deal on in Tiger which I'll show you obviously not necessarily these colours but this is the candles I'm talking about and you get three for a pound so I get my red and my black and my white and any other colours I need um, and these deals um, also you get these little tins which again may be useful um, to put incense blends in or um, anything like that if you don't want to use the organza bags if you feel that they would be better off or more secure in something like this you could buy um, items like this and again these are very cost effective they're about two pounds Wilco's is also very good for herbs and spices so you can get a um, 200 gram bag of certain herbs and spices in Tiger so you could maybe incorporate a mixture of wild harvested items plus items you have sourced online so for example you could maybe incorporate some of um, these type of things and with maybe some um, rowan berries or um, you know barks or flowers or pods or um, nuts or anything like that that you find in nature as you can he see here they do a lot of seasonal type uh, herbs and spices in tiger for this time of year so you've got your cinnamon sticks your cloves your chilies things like paprika rose things like nutmeg obviously these are more seasonal as opposed to direct connection with deity you may also want to do get a picture frame or something like that and um, this is Poundland you could get a really nice picture frame from Wilco's or Poundland and then um, make your own image for inside it that will resonate with that person for example um, you can um, find um, maybe an image of that person's um, linked in with that person's path or linked in with that person's duty or just um, an image that you think would resonate with that person for their path and then you basically collaborate everything together pop in your basket um, put your shredded stuff down or your tissue paper down or both then put your items in to your basket gather your um, cellophane up to the top put elastic band on to hold it together pop your bow or ribbon on and that's it you have got a personalized witchified gift basket so i hope you guys enjoyed lots of love and blessed be bye